Mateo Roach became a household name in Canada by winning 23 consecutive games to mark the fifth longest ever streak on Jeopardy. They're fresh off a run on Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions, and Mateo joins me now. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, all of Canada was rooting for you. When you were playing the game, did you feel the pressure of an entire nation living vicariously through you? When I was taping my original run on the show, um, you know, I taped all of that before even the first episode aired. So there was no sense of any pressure. But when I went back to the tournament, I joked to some of the other contestants, I felt a little bit like I was going to the Olympics. Um, everybody else just had to represent, you know, maybe the university that they went to or their hometown, but I had the whole country. So I tried to ignore it, but I was very aware that people were going to be invested and then that people might be slightly disappointed that I uh, underperformed a little bit. But there you go. Underperformed, you're one of the best ever to play the game and you're saying underperformed, which just proves how Canadian you are. <laughs> That's amazing. We love that. Let me ask you some Jeopardy-style Canadian political answers and would you respond in the form of a question for me? I will try my best, yeah. <laughs> Known by many as Skippy, this angry little person is the current leader of the Conservative Party. Who is Pierre Polyev? Exactly! Who is Pierre Polyev? And that's what Canadians ask themselves every day. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Next question. This former world leader is the father of the current Canadian prime minister. I see what joke is, is gonna be set up here. Um, <laughs> I'll go with who's Pierre Trudeau. We would have also accepted Fidel Castro. <laughs> Final Jeopardy. Toronto, Halifax, and Cape Breton all claim Matea Roach as their own, but this is the only place they claim as their true home. Good luck, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> this is so rude. Can I answer no, the use all your time. Sense? Think about this. You do not want to be on the couch in Cape Breton and answer this wrong. You'll never live it down. And besides, we're playing this song, so we're hoping that people in other rooms will come in or flip around, think it's Jeopardy, and stop, and our ratings will go up. So let the song finish. <laughs> Kind of awkward, it was just the two of us. It happened to me once on The Real Show. Yeah? Yeah, I had to play Final Jeopardy by myself because the other players finished in the red. Kicking ass, that's how it's done. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Matea, the question once again was, where are you from? Well, Cape Breton's out because I've never actually lived there. That's where my parents are from. Um, I am from Halifax, that's where I was born. So I'll go with uh, what is Halifax. <laughs> that is correct! You know how to please a hometown crowd. You've done something. Matea, you've done something most Canadians can only dream of. You paid off your student loan. Thank you for being here. Good night. Good night, thank you.